Hi guys, this is Annie. I hope you all are doing great tonight. And tonight I have this quick and easy mani for you. So let's get started. And these are the items we'll be using in tonight's video. I'll go through them very, very quickly with you, but they will also be listed in the description box for details. So here I have all my polishes, including my fast drying top coat, my stamping and base polishes. I have my stamping plates together with some nail guides, some acetone, a roller tape brush, my stamper and my scraper. I have for my tools, some cotton on a cotton claw, a wax pencil, and a cleanup brush as well as my jewels. So now that we have everything ready, let's get started. All right, so I have already gone ahead and applied my base coat and the color I use tonight is called Express Way number 310 and it's by Sally Hansen and it is an inch to dry polish and I have gone and applied one thick layer of that and wait until it's thoroughly dried. So the first thing I'm going to do is do the accent nail polish. It's very very simple. It's just to apply one little rhinestone on that nail just to give the manicure a pop as you could see here. It breaks it up a little bit, but I like the way the accent nail look a little simple. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. And the way I like to do it is by applying a layer of the base coat. Or if you already have that coloring, you can go ahead and just use top coat. I am going to apply another layer of the base coat. And right after that, I'm using my little wax pencil to grab the rhinestone. And we'll go ahead and just give that a press down or a little tap to secure it in place. And once that's there, I'll immediately grab my top coat, which is also my fast drying top coat, and I'll apply two coats. I'm going to apply one right now, and then at the end of the manicure, when we are applying top coat again to all the nails, I'll apply a second layer of that. And the reason for applying so much of that is I really want to get that little rhinestone locked into my nail so it doesn't fall out and when you seal it in really well it can last up to a week which I have had some of my nail jewels lasting up to a week and a half because it's locked in so well so here we go I have my top coat here and I'm gonna go around it and even over it and generously apply that throughout the nail especially around that rhinestone because like I said we want to lock that in and don't forget to cap the tips off your nails like I'm doing now. So now that we have that accent nail ready let me grab my stamping tools and we'll start the next step which is the nail stamping. All right so before we go stamping we have to go ahead and grab hold of those nail guides that I showed you before and um, I am going to use the the oval ones and basically what I'm going to do is place them halfway down my nails. Um, we are going to be doing two sets of stamping tonight so I do want to divide it. I don't want to overlap or, or do layering of the stamping. I, I do want to keep it clean and divide it. So basically I have this little tiny little thing here and I am going about halfway down my nail And then just go in and press down on that. Yeah, that's about halfway down, I believe. Make sure there's no little spaces or bubbles under that because we don't want the manicure to get all messed up and ruined. So I'll go ahead and I'll apply three more for these nails here and then we'll get started with the stamping. Alright, so now that we have all the little guides on the nails here, we can go ahead and just press down, make sure they're secure again, and then we can start the first stamping. So the first set I'm going to do is actually the tips because that's the lighter color, and for that I am using my Bondo Monster Plate, and for those of you who are interested, it's BMS235, and the little design I'm pulling out of this tonight is going to be this one here. I am also going to be using my transparent stamper and for the top color that I'll be using which is this 
beautiful salmon color here. That's going to also be a Sally Hansen product. That's the Insta Dry. The color is called Snappy Sorbet, and it's number 460. So let me grab my scraper and let's stamp the first set of images. And it's a beautiful salmon color, as we can see. I love this color. Now, you can use this product. The only thing is you have to move really quickly with the InstaJive product. It is not a stamp and polish, but you can definitely use it as. And the reason I am using these little guides is because I don't want to go under that nail. Like I say, I don't want to layer up. So you can also use a regular stamper for this. You don't have to use... A transparent one but I am using the transparent one because I want to line up the flowers at the end so right after we do that I am going to pull the guide out immediately leaving just that image and it looks kind of raw now but once we apply the second step of the image in the other color it's gonna look a little bit more completed so let me continue doing that for the next three nails So as you could see, my stamper was big enough that I didn't have to go on and pick up the images three times more because it was just perfect. It actually went on and you can try that too. And if it doesn't work, just go back and sometimes you could just take a piece of tape and lift the image off directly from your nail and go ahead and, and do the image over. But I didn't need to do that tonight because I had enough on the stamper to transfer it to all three nails. So there's the tips. And now we are going to do this part here which is the darker part so let me grab my stamping plate and the nail polish and we will be right back all right guys so we're ready for the second part of the manicure and I have gone ahead and applied some liquid latex for easier cleanup at the end and for the second set of stamping I will be using my plate of the SG series and that's plate number SG09 and I'll be using this little flower image right here. The color we'll be stamping with is from the Bondle Monster Mythos collection and this is number B199 Red C and like I mentioned before I am using my transparent stamper to line things up so let's go ahead and start on that. I will line it up first and then show you on camera what it looks like and these are beautiful beautiful colors so I do hope you like the combination of it and I do hope you like the manicure as a matter of fact there it is and like I said I only want part of that image so let me line it up first and then I'll show it to you on the camera it's just a little easier for me to see through it first and basically I'm lining up the peak to the top of where we stopped. There it is. And I'm just going to press and roll to get that image transferred over. And there it is. So let me continue doing that for the next three nails. Alright, so now that we are done stamping, I can go ahead and take mine latex off and let's clean up around the nails and then we'll go ahead and apply the top coat and we will be all done. 
So basically the latex does protect it from getting messed up a little bit. You can also use a peel. I do see a lot of people using peels as well. So you can go ahead and use that. And it really does help with the cleanup. So now that we're done pulling that out, I'll just go around the edges and pick off anything that I don't want. Like this little blue piece of latex here. I'm also going to press down and dust off anything that may have fallen onto the nail. And also press down any images that might be lifted. And in that case, we don't even need to use the brush and acetone tonight which is always great all right and now we can go ahead and do our top coat so the top coat that i like best this is my favorite but you can use yours this is the out the door fast drying top coat and i love love this top coat because it just really does dry super quickly and as you've heard me mention a million times before, I really hate to sit there and let nail polish dry. That's why I have the Insta-Dry products and that's why I have this fast drying top coat. All right, so when applying your top coat to the images from the stamping, you have to be very careful. For those of you who have not watched my videos, I'm just gonna repeat as I do in the others. Always be very generous on applying top coat. Make sure you have a nice, thick loaded brush and when applying try not to swipe over the same area twice be very very generous do not press down on the brush because you will drag that image and I do recommend to cap your nails and by that I mean taking a little bit of the top coat and going across this helps me a lot because I notice for myself it prevents wear and tear from the tips going up and it also prevents chipping from the tips going up. So I do like to cap my nails. So you can try that out if you haven't done that. Again, be very generous with the amount of top coat you're applying. Do not go over the same area twice and do not press down on that brush because if you press down, you will definitely smear the image. And I am going to go ahead and go over that little jewel, that accent nail again, like I mentioned, around and over just to lock that in so it could stay a little longer and there it is be right back Here it is. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video tonight. And if you have any questions, always, always feel free to write to me. I'll answer them as best as I can and as fast as I can. And please don't forget to subscribe for my upcoming newest videos as well. And thank you all so much for watching. Have a good night, everyone. Bye-bye now.